Well, the big bosses have some big, huge sales meetings, so we've got to adapt, overcome, and improvise. I'm going a little different board, a little different room, but we'll make it work. And we'll talk about really the play of the game was the fourth down play, the interception of Earl Thomas, and some good football to discuss here. So first and foremost, San Diego uh, is, as they showed really through those last two drives in the red zone, wanted to spread out the Seahawks, much like Denver did the week before, get into that shotgun, get that dime defense on the field, and beat them within the zone coverage that Seattle really got exposed to against Denver many times. Uh, and, and this week, I loved what Pete Carroll and Gus Bradley and Jerry Gray, the, court, the secondary coach, did. Because uh, games on the line, they didn't just play soft zone. They didn't see any of that cover two we talked about last week. They played man on man. They brought people, and they really forced the issue. And the fourth down play in particular, San Diego gets into their gun alignment with Rivers. They're in a one back set. They actually start with Gates here, and we'll call him the Y. And they have their uh, their flanker outside of him. They have a second tight end that's typically called a U in football terminology. And then they're split in on this side. So they start in a three by one. Seattle was just in their four down front. And they again play dime with Babineau and Roy Lewis on the field. And you ended up having, because of injuries, Walter Thurman outside. You have Jordan Babineau. You have Earl Thomas. On the weak side is where you have Roy Lewis and Kelly Jennings. They go dime. Lawyer Malloy comes here. Lofa Tatupu here. San Diego, because of all that blitz and all those A-gaps, bring the two tight ends in, and they actually will motion him across. That moves Thomas over just a little bit. They end up blocking with the tight end and just six-man protection. And what Seattle did, their blitz through that game, and I love this blitz against Phillip Rivers, and we talked about this yesterday, is you end up bringing Malloy and Tatupu right through the A gaps. They end up bringing everybody else in the other gaps. But what that did immediately is force the issue on Phillip Rivers. You're not bringing edge pressure. You know, a lot of tech times the overload is to one side or the other. You bring the edge pressure. You try to get a clean shot on Phillip Rivers. It's not going to work. He's going to see that. He's going to beat you with their adjustments. Instead, they bring it right up the middle. And even though it's six on six, so you aren't outnumbering them, you're rushing the four and then Lawyer into Tupu, and they've got all six, five linemen and the big tight end to handle it. What that does is it just forces the issue up the middle, makes him a little bit unsettled. They end up leaking the back out. They clear here, take them away. And then what's really cool was Earl Thomas's ability to do two things. Number one, pre-snap. When they go to trips, he doesn't all of a sudden declare here and take Phillip Rivers. He just kind of plays it cool and plays it coy back there at free safety. San Diego runs this concept, which they run a lot, and in. You have Gates here on the corner route. They time it up well. And this time, Earl Thomas, who had seen that combination over and over and over again, while these guys are all locked man to man, you have Earl Thomas free. You actually have Babineau, who starts to cheat over a little bit free, even though he has the back. And you have Earl Thomas reading the eyes and seeing it. When you see it from the end zone view, he sees all of this come to light. And he doesn't have to worry. And this is the other key. What San Diego will do and what North Turner will do is if they see man free and a safety start to jump that in cut, well, guess what they like to do? An in cut and go. But you get down in the red zone, they run out of room, there's no room. Earl Thomas sees that concept coming, he reads the eyes, he breaks on it, gets the pick, and is the difference maker. Man on man, you force the issue, you get up in the A-gaps, you get that pressure immediately on Phillip Rivers, you don't try to outsmart him. You're not going to outsmart him and overload one side or the other. A lot of good football and ultimately game on the line. I love it. Put the pressure on. Let your playmakers either make the play or get beat. And in this case, Earl Thomas made the play.